How's it going, everybody? I want to thank you all so much for joining me for another episode of Jay Plays. I am Jay Wright, and we are continuing on our journey with Lisa and Lisa the First. All right, so last time I remember hating life as we fought to get through a bunch of spiders. The next thing that we need to do... I don't even know. Let me see what the inventory has. Uh, bottle of rum, broken key, banana peel, bottle of his old pills, dull blade, and work gloves. Okay, what could we do with any of that? Maybe try one of the ladders? I don't remember trying a ladder. Yeah, we haven't tried the ladders yet. Um... Mm. I will say so far, um, I feel like we have gained no additional knowledge on Lisa other than she is suffering some kind of psychotic break that seems to revolve around her father. I mean, there's obvious, you know, there's things that we could assume and guess, but I don't want to. Oh, that is just disturbing. I, I don't want to assume or guess just yet. Uh, this place is full of flies. And puke. Oh, it's a puke-covered house. Got it. That's dis that's disturbing, and disgusting, and every other word that means gross that I can think of. Oh, what the hell's going on with your face there, buddy? Oh my Jesus. Okay. Well, I guess we'll just leave this place. Nothing of interest here. I was also thinking about that water level. I'm starting to realize that that is not water that a bunch of her father Marty is swimming in. That's that's piss, right? Because it looks exactly like the puddles in the house. I think he was swimming in a a lake of piss, which makes it very disturbing that we just kind of walk through all that. Oh, your face is also messed up. Everybody's face is messed up in this world. It's like falling off. And I don't know what the hell is going on with the, the wiggle trees out there, but that is uh, probably the most disturbing thing we've seen so far in this game. Other than the spiders, the spiders are still pretty bad. That one's drowning. I don't even... Yeah. So far, we found nothing to collect, though, or use. That's strange. So, why do we come over here, then? Ah, there's more to it. Oh, gosh. There's more to the House of Puke. Just, just great. That's exactly what I said I wanted to do today. I wanted to explore our house. Full of praying, puking, face-rotten people. Did y'all move? I want to see the cross myself. I'm, I also want to pray to the puke gods. Excuse me. Excuse, excuse me. Excuse me. Does anybody speak English? I do not speak this language. Excuse me. Excuse me. Could somebody let me in? I would like to pray as well. All right, so apparently we're not cool enough to be in the prayer squad. So, we, wait, what? No. So we'll leave this area too. Empty-handed, with no idea of what it is we are supposed to find or see. Okay, so we know her father is an Alki who pukes a lot and also swims in a pool of his own piss. But he's also religious. Either they're religious, she's religious, or he's religious. One of those three options because there seems to be a lot of crosses everywhere. Though in her mind, she has a bunch of Marty surrounding it, so I would assume that she finds him to be religious. But his face is all screwed up in the house with the religious... So maybe, maybe she finds him to be like a hypocrite, like a disgrace, can't face the cross because she believes that, you know, he wouldn't do the things he would do if he truly did believe in a good book. Uh, your face messed up too? Of course it is. Why not? We've explored so many houses and gotten absolutely nothing for our troubles. Do you have a napkin? I have a half empty bottle of pills and a razor. I do not have a napkin. All right, so I guess our next quest is to find a napkin for this Marty. All right, well, at least they give us a fast way to get back to the lobby. I guess we'll try this ladder on the left here then. Like a snow level? God, I hope it's snow. I really hope it's snow. He's mumbling to himself. Well, the last ones were mumbling to themselves, or they might as well have been, because they didn't speak ugh, any language that I recognized. Oh, this is a very, very white area. It's like the... That may be actual water. 
And it looks like her dad is as normal as normal could be in this level. So that's interesting. What does this stand for? A heart. Who's wait? Whose heart is it? It's hers. Or right, it's his. He's doing the heart thing. Pool, white area, trees, snow. Marty seems to be normal. Anybody else here like? That's peculiar. Oh, okay. Here we go. I was like, man, this is like endless white. I hear the snow again. I hear something. Oh, it's the music. Okay, it's just the music. I am I am trying to be as open-minded and as abstract as possible right now so that I can determine what it is. She even loves the toilet. What is what is this world trying to tell us about her psyche? What is this room to her? Everything's pristine, nice, but it's all a front. It's all it's all a lie, as we know, because if you step to the statues, you see the real world, which is bloody and full of eyes. There's the statues again. And if you walk through them, you get this world. Which I'm guessing shows us the truth. Oh, yep. Her dad is not the cheery, happy guy that he pretends to be, but we already knew that. Way to make a saxophone sound creepy as hell. Blech. Yep. Uh, even the bed is puke covered. He's all messed up. Okay, so I don't know if there's anything to actually collect in this level or if it just wants us to see this level. Oh, there, there's a dinner table. I didn't see that in the white world. There we gotta make sure we come see what that looks like on the other side. Oh. And there's the cross and him near it, watching television. We didn't see that either in the white world. Some stairs. Oh, there are levels of this place. You got a plastic bag. That's nice. Not exactly a napkin, but that's that's cool. I was wondering if these are representative of like the statues we walked in between earlier to get back to normal world, but we're not going back to normal world. It seems like a bunch of more and some ladders that go up. I'm assuming they all lead back up to the same area. Nothing's really changing. Okay, so I guess we got everything we need to get here. Oh, that's odd. Huh. Oh, here's the, the one we didn't see in white. Again, okay, so yeah, maybe this is just the facade that he puts on or that she's trying to imagine that hides all the ugliness that is her world. But uh, I think we've seen everything there is to see in the white world. Let's uh, let's leave. Not here. Not Well, I do want to check out that plastic bag. A plastic bag, a bag large enough to fit over a head. I had a feeling that that is what she wanted to do with that bag. She wanted to uh, use it and not necessarily for collecting groceries. While we're at it, though, I also want to make sure I took a moment to shout out Mysterious, who is just now starting our Lisa the Joyful playthrough and was nice enough to leave us a comment in the uh, comment section. We'll definitely get that up. Appreciate you always engaging in the comment section and giving us the backstory and helping out whenever we need it with this Lisa the playthrough, because without you, I would be lost. Oh, really? Really? Is this the genesis of the middle finger climb? Really? I didn't even think for a second that this would be what I'd find at the top, but of course it had to start somewhere and somewhere. And this is the first. Thanks for that. I, I appreciate that. that. That's so helpful. Also, shout out to Amber, who recently just joined the channel. Thank you so much for finding the channel and deciding to stick with it and subscribing to the channel and leaving a comment, which is by far my favorite thing about uh, new new viewers is when they decide to leave a comment in the sections below, because that's really how I know you you joined the channel and that you really enjoyed the content. And I just can't wait to see you more in the comment section. What else you leave? They also brought up good points about um, Buddy's state of mind in Lisa the Joyful and just trying to get us to see more of 
why she would be so ruthless, because as you remember, if you watch that playthrough, I was very concerned about how ruthless Buddy had become very, very quickly. And Amber was kind enough to share her thoughts on the fact that, you know, Buddy is the only girl in Olaf and so many people want so many things from her you could see why she would find that the only way to survive would be to be ruthless either way thank you to both mysterious and amanda for leaving comments in the uh comment section i can't wait to see more of what you have to say about lisa and buddy and brad and marty all right what do we have here i have a bag but i have nowhere to put this damn bag and i am you need the sword i don't have a sword but i have a bag hmm I guess I will be back when I find out where we go to next. I need that banana peel, please. Okay, so I was avoiding talking to any of these things in the, the, the pool full of piss. I'm assuming it's piss, it's probably piss. I missed the fact that they wanted a banana peel. I have one for you. You give them the peel. Thank you. There's a napkin here. That looks like wood. That is a very wooden looking napkin. You take the napkin. Oh, okay. No, it was on there. We just need that. I was to say that. That's a flow. That's not a napkin. Also, where the hell did he just go? Did he just ascend to Earth? I mean, to Earth. <laughs> to, I don't even know where. I don't want to touch these ones, though. I, I think I don't think we need to talk to these ones. I think we can leave these ones alone. Let's go drop that napkin off an old boy who wants a napkin in the prayer world. Oh, where, oh, where was our little napkin guy? Ah, you're the napkin guy. That's right. Hello, Mr. Napkin Guy. I have a napkin for you. Give me that napkin. Pretty please works a lot better he takes your napkin i really needed that you got a finger like an actual finger or like he flicked us off no don't return to the lobby i want to see our inventory this is an actual thing a freshly cut finger i have absolutely no idea what to do with that also are you still just waiting all right i'm kind of afraid to figure out what that thing is waiting for all right so we got a finger um Gonna be honest, I do not know where a finger is supposed to go. I have zero clue on why we needed a finger. I'm gonna explore some more and try and figure out where I need to give somebody the finger. I don't think we ever went through this door, right? Oh, we did. Uh, what about this ladder? Do you need the finger? He takes the finger. Don't even know how we knew to go here. This was just a lucky guess. It didn't even take me that long to come here. In return, you got a VHS tape. Okay, cool. At least I know exactly where we can put that. Pretty straightforward. You play the VHS Marty? I don't know. The M's look like W's. I can't tell. Oh, are we playing as Marty? Do I want to play as Marty? Do I want to know what this videotape is going to show? A weird VHS tape. How did he record a video of himself approaching himself and his daughter? Having a tea party. Okay. Can't go any further. So, a plastic tea set. I don't think I get it. Um, you have an inventory? No. Okay, somehow we just switched from Marty to Lisa. I don't know if that was supposed to happen or... No plastic tea set. Can I like use the bag or something on this individual? Is that what this is about? Nope. I can't give him the finger. Hmm. Okay, so maybe we haven't found what we need to to use the tea set just yet. But where haven't we haven't explored? I don't know where we haven't where we need to go next. I thought we were making progress. I thought we were. There's a candle room. What about you, bud? You gluff the pills down his oh, you stuff the pills down his throat. Why does the text get weird sometimes? I guess it's an S, but it's a weird 
looking ass, man. That's a G. Gluff. We gluffed. We gluffed the pills down his throat, effectively killing him. Ah! Sword! You got a sword. You just 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 got a sword. I know what crotch to put it in. That's not it. Hello, I found the sword and put it in. You insert the sword into the slot. I don't know why a sword is going into the slot. It kind of creeps me out. But we're going to do it. That's a new world to explore. It's kind of cool looking. I don't know what these urinal statues represent. Why we need to put a sword in its crotch to get into its world. Take a seat. Nope, no seats. Hmm, empty rooms. Nothing to really examine or admire. Kind of the same decor. It's a, it's a little nauseating, actually. The decor is very puke-inspired. Or it kind of looks like one of those rugs, you know the rugs, that look exactly like this, that everybody had in the early 2000s that was puke-colored. Like, it was just a mass of reds and blues and yellows, and it just it, it was a headache-inducing uh, rug. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what I'm doing. Nothing's chasing me, and I can't seem to click on anything to tell me Oh shit. This individual looks a lot like the thing we saw in Lisa the Joyful that we fought and killed. Um is your name Harry? Harry? I mean this thing looks like it was on Joy already, but Joy shouldn't exist at this point, right? Ah! Ah! We went behind it. Ah, I didn't know we could go behind it. I didn't want to touch it. I didn't want to touch it. I was just exploring. There's some puke and puke and more puke, and I don't know why I keep making her walk through the puke. I'll walk around the puke this time. I just felt like we should click. Oh, it's ourselves. Hello, self. Dead, broken area. I see piss. I see puke. I'm guessing her own. I don't think it takes a rocket scientist to deduce. Oh, boy. Um, you got a necklace. Hmm, where do we get a necklace from? What just happened there? Why did necklace something you cherish cherish very much? Huh? Yeah, I'm not sure about that one. Not really sure. I mean, we went behind Harry's gross ass body. She goes to a room where she's. Got broken furniture everywhere, puke and piss, and then she turns into him, and then it goes to black, and then we get a necklace. Uh, we don't have a VHS anymore. Wait, what? What happened to our VHS? Did we even get anything for going into the VHS world? All I saw was them having a tea party. Maybe they signify that it wasn't all bad times, or it probably was all bad times, but you know, Tickos will will like use good times to make the bad times seem not so bad so maybe that's one of the quote unquote good times that he I don't know or maybe that was what he used to be like maybe he used to do the whole tea parties with her I don't know where we're going next necklace 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 I have a necklace y'all oh wait I don't think we explored this part of the house before ah okay I saw that dirt path earlier but I didn't I meant to look at it for some reason and I never did Man, they love their red, blues, and yellows, right? Just, that is the favorite combination of colors. I guess it does strike you as a puke color. Oh, God, no, not more of this. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, the first step is to identify where you can step and not die. I think I see it, actually. Here, right? Okay, so far, so good. As long as he doesn't decide to switch up his pattern. So far, so good. Even though it seems like they're speeding up. Uh, this may be a harder path to go down. Um, because yeah, he's kind of quick. I might more want to go like this way, I guess. Ah, 
that was stupid. It was stupid of me. So stupid. He's fast. Real, real fast, bud. Ah, darn it. I, I can do it. I see it. I'm just not doing it. Yeah, I see now going that way, going down may not be the smart way of doing this. It may be better to follow him across like that and then just come straight down once he passes by. But I'd have to be quick or just follow him around. I could do that too. So like, come down, come down. Boom. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Okay. Uh, This one could get... Annoying, I see. This is only, this is where the difficulty comes in. Whenever they bring the spiders, that's when we we really face some hardship. Uh, I know we got to follow him down on the left side, and then somehow follow him over to the right side. So, ah, darn it! That, ew, yikes! 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 Oh, I got so close. If I had went the other way, that would have been it. Oh my gosh. Okay, we made it. Holy hell. Okay. Wow, that it's not even really a pattern. Like, you just have to find a rhythm. I feel like, man, I hope that gold cross meant that was a save moment. Because I don't know if I could do that again. Like, that wasn't... I didn't identify a pattern. I legit was just like, go with the flow. All right, so I feel like you're safe here. As long as they don't switch up their pattern, we're safe. I'm going to start from down here. I think. This seems safer, right? What the hell am I supposed to do with that spider at the end? Or, you know what? Probably we're supposed to move this rock, huh? Yep. I really hope that's a safe spot. I do not want to start over. Uh, the question is, where are we supposed to keep moving the rock to? How are we supposed to do this? Wait a minute. Oh, this is going to suck. Please don't start me over. Oh, thank you. It is a safe. Okay, that's fine. That, as long as we start there, I'm cool. Because that would have been a dick move, man. To make it start all the way over that, that would have sucked. All right, so we have to lower the rock anyway. If we're going to hit the spider, which is what I'm assuming they want us to do. I don't know how we're going to hit the spider and I don't know how we need to just die there. Hopefully this rock saves its progress because yikes. Yeah, how are we going to do this? Okay, the rock does save its progress. Yikes, I am not moving that rock at all. How are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? Um... Gotta move it right, but how? It's too fast for us to sit there. Moving it down. Not gonna really help us, is it? We can come one over. But can I kill the spider? really do anything for us oh boy um can i kill it can i smush it smush it smush the spider how much for smushing the spider all right well if i can't smush it which i really want to i don't know y'all i'm not really sure what we need to do here Um, I 
Okay, well, we got it to move at least a little bit that time. Yikes. Oops. That's all right. We got it to move, though. Thank the developer for allowing the progress. Like, for the developer recognizing that there's no way to do this without dying. Because if we had to keep starting over, I don't know if I would have completed this game, to be honest with you. Because, I mean, look at this. Every time we would have had to go back to the beginning, that would have been just unbearable. I tried pushing it, it didn't let me push it. Great. What am I supposed to do here then? That spider is coming down at the same time as the other one. There we go. And we got a double push on that too. Um. All right, we're safe here. Okay, okay. We need to get underneath this one though. Oh. Okay. I guess we could have pushed it one more to the left and pushed the spider up. Or do we need this rock, though? I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Um, What is the answer here? They come down at the same time. There's no way we're going to run power. We may need this rock to go all the way down. In which case, we're going to need it to go up one. Okay, that's how we do that. Now what? Now what? Now what? Okay. Keep that spider away somehow, but it's going to come right back down, right? Yeah, like that. So what does that really do for us? At least he's up and he's permanently gone. I'm being dumb right now. I'm being so dumb. I don't know why. Okay. Now the question is, did we just F ourselves with this whole situation? And the answer might be, yeah, we might have. I don't see how we're going to get past this thing now. Yeah, that's, uh, we may be in trouble. We may have to restart. Oh, God, I hope I don't have to restart. I may have to restart, though. Why would this be like this? I don't know. I don't have another rock, and I don't think we can... Shit. What was the right answer? Even if we had pushed it up, it would have just pushed the spiders, so... I don't, I think we screwed up somehow. i not somehow by pushing the rock this way. Maybe we're supposed to push it up here and do this. All right, we did it again. Saved again. New rock. All right, so now we know you can absolutely F yourself. Um, all right, one more push. Actually, another push. Okay, come up. And this time, go up with it. Go up with it. This way. Push. Uh, I think we're doing right so far. Uh, push. 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 No, again, this is going to screw us, right? Uh, what are we supposed to do here? What are we supposed to do here? If I push this rock, it's going to come up and we're going to be screwed again. There's a space in between them. So maybe get underneath the space, right? Oh, I went too far, but I think that that'll work. So 
So go down with that one. Go down, go down, go down. And move over to the right, then come over to the left. Here we go. So it's going to be like... Go down with this one. Go down, go down, go down. Go to the right. Come back, come back. Go, 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 go. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? I, I can't with this freaking game, dude. I can't with this freaking game. Ah, I hate this one so much. Now what do you want from me? All right, there's two on the other side that we have to get rocks underneath because they're going to be impossible to move without. I move this one. We're going to be screwed with this spider, so this one has to stay. Uh, Maybe try and trap him with this one somehow. All right, how are we going to do this here? Throw you up here, and there's no save spot either. That, that sucks too. All right, um... Throw you this way, throw you this way, throw you this way, throw you this way, keep that spider like that. This is a slow one. Oh, and of course there's a spider at the end. Why wouldn't there be a spider at the end? Get that across there like that. Probably should go ahead and move this rock across as well. So we'll do this. Uh, maybe take the same path, I guess. I don't know. I don't want to... Oh, I'm not trying to eat it. I'm going to lose my mind with this game, y'all. I'm going to lose my absolute mind with this game. I don't understand the difficulty spike with these spiders. I don't get it at all. But we'll get through it. We will get through it. Okay, we need to cut the distance. We're too close to him. So what we need to do is he goes down, right? And then we need to go. Then we need to figure out if we're going to go up or we're going to go down. I actually probably should have done this from the bottom side, huh? Yeah, it's probably easier on the bottom. So, come over here, come up. Come over one, come down. Move this up. Move this up so we can get maximum distance. Come back over here. All right, here we go. Oh, boy. Okay. Maximum distance gives us this one. I should have done that. I should not have done that. That rock needs to come down. Okay. So. How fast was the first spider? That's my last hope. Is that the first spider is not as fast as I think it was. It was. Oh, yeah, we screwed ourselves. Yep. That is death. Fuck. Yeah, now I gotta see if those rocks stayed the same, which I'm pretty sure they did, which means we should probably just start all over right now. This sucks, y'all. This one, um... Well done, developer, for making this suck so bad. If that was the goal to make this suck, it... Mission accomplished. This effing sucks. And it did stay. So we got to start all over. There's no way around it. All right. So now he's going to make sure he stays trapped underneath. That's the hard part. He's got to be trapped underneath. Cool. All right. So he's done. Maybe want to trap him one more underneath, right? that we have room to push the rock. We're not using this rock again. All right, cool. Now to trap one more. Take this rock and we'll bring it across. We just got to make sure whatever we do, we have that last rock to bring all the way across and down and push him out the way. Okay. Stay trapped on the bottom, please. All right, so that takes care of him. And then again, we can trap him at the very bottom. And then we come back over here. Give ourselves, some, give ourselves some space 
you know, now that I'm doing it, I see now that it wasn't that it was difficult. It was just patience and learning the patterns and kind of visualizing what we needed to do beforehand. Like it wasn't that difficult now that I'm actually doing it right. Of course, you're always going to say it when things are going right. I was struggling. This was this was definitely the hardest spider one um, and took us the longest as, as well. All right, so. I remember that this is the trap, the bottom spider. So whatever we do. We'll make sure we plan this out smart. It looks like you can trap him from the bottom or the top, whichever way. We push it up. We should be okay. Should be being the key word here. All right, so I'm going to not push from the bottom because that would be stupid. I would be stupid to push from the top. I don't know. Just try it and hope everything works out for us. Okay, we went that way. Oh boy, here we go. And then we come down, right? And then we're out of here. Oh my gosh, we did it. We freaking did it. No more spiders, y'all. Just no more, no more spiders. I'm glad we have that little save point. Just no more spiders. I don't, I don't need any more spiders in my life. You place the plastic bag over his head. Oh, so we're just killing all these things. And another VHS tape. You got a VHS. Oh, okay. So these are just telling us, I guess, the backstory. So tea party. Oh, but actually we can just return to the lobby now. Oh my, I can't believe we got through that, y'all. That was... Oh, I might have cut down a lot of tries, but I died a lot on those spiders to the point where I actually got good going through the spiders very quickly. That's how many times I died. You played the VHS Tricky Rick. This cotton candy? What is this? Of course, it's not cotton candy. Nothing's happy about this world. All right. Okay. 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 This time we're playing, uh... I don't even know if that is Marty. I don't know what these things are. Oh, hi. My name is Rick. I like exploring caves. I like friction. Oh, and I'm a very sensitive guy as well. What the hell did friction have to do with caves? But you already knew all that, didn't you? I like exploring caves. I hope to see you soon. Don't run too far. I'll be waiting. I don't know if that was supposed to be a metaphor for something. I just got really just just grossed out from Rick. I don't know why. Whatever Rick did, Rick just said didn't sit well with me. The way he said it, the world, everything about this place is just freaky deaky. But we are unfortunately all out of time, so we're going to go ahead and stop it here. I want to thank everybody that's left a comment in any of the videos. I really, truly do appreciate each and every one of them. I love reading them. I love responding to them. And I love getting to put them up on the video. So please, please keep doing so. Also, thank you all for watching this episode of Jay Plays. I am Jay Wright, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Deuces.